Dad Zaviri. That's right. It's episode, what are we at? 75. Yeah. That's three quarters. We're back in the basement, my friend. Back at it again. Too legit to quit. Too legit. <laughs> Too legit to quit. What's going on, RJ? Nothing. What's going on, Jay? Oh, man. How about that summertime snow? What in the world? <laughs> How good like, is that? Okay, we're talking about it. Have you, I mean, we've seen the days where it's like, okay, 60, 70, and then yeah. it drops down and snows, but 95 I to know. snow? I I'm, was like, that's literally summer to winter. <laughs> like, we just skip fall. <laughs> Goodbye, fall. Yeah. If Forget it, you fall. It just sums up 2020 so well, right? Yes. Oh, totally. Fires. It's just, it's crazy around here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're living in crazy times, my yeah. friend. You couldn't, if you wrote this, if you wrote 2020 as a movie, people would be like, no, that's not, there's it's no not, way. Yeah, no way. There's no way. If, but here we are, living if it. If Red Dawn happens and the Wolverines are united in 2020, it wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. I'll, yeah, be, like, yeah, no. I'll be like, oh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah of course. Aliens. I'll be yeah, like, oh, China, oh, yeah. China, yeah. China, Russia's going to invade us. Yeah, they have totally. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's 2020. Yeah. Why not? We got it. Yeah, we, we got <laughs> it. I got toilet paper now, at least. <laughs> oh, no doubt. It is amazing to go to the store finally and see toilet paper on the shelf every consistently. I know. It took a it while. It was a while. There was a while that, <laughs> that aisle looked pretty sad. They were putting a bunch of other random things in that aisle. Be like, see, everything's okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, nothing to see here. Have some candles. Nothing to see here. Look at all the candles we have, though. Yeah. <laughs> Look at our candle selection, folks. <laughs> nothing to see here. And then all of a sudden. No like, apocalypse. There's no, no apocalypse. No Just apocalypse. keep walking. There is frozen pizza, so don't worry. There is frozen pizza still. What I'm trying to think what some of the other weird things that kind of went out. Like flour was one of those ones because everybody apparently it decided used... to bake. Oh, yeah. I was like, that's what we're going to do during the apocalypse. Let's make bread. That's funny. Let's carb load for the apocalypse. Oh, yeah. I got to tell you, this leads me into the COVID song. I sent you. What's his name? Nick. He's on Rabzilla. Yeah, you sent it to Nick me. Nick D. Oh, Nick D with yeah, the, the mood. The mood and COVID. He has quarantine yeah. song or rap yeah. song. Rapzilla is pretty cool. Have R- you been on Rapzilla? No. Really? Uh, I mean, we're talking about dad life here. Dad right? life, Rapzilla. Yeah, Rapzilla. Oh. If they review rappers and music coming out. I think I heard I heard about this, yeah. But I haven't checked it out. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Was it pretty cool? It was pretty cool, man. Uh-huh. Great new music. And Nick D is pretty cool, dude. I feel like... We live in such a time where you can discover new music so much better. Yeah, I think if you guys hear music in the background, somebody's partying upstairs apparently. Oh, okay. I think that's the Alexa upstairs. Oh, sweet. That's Alexa upstairs? The box wine and Alexa? Yeah, the box wine and the Alexa or the TV's on. So. Yeah, she's having a great night. She's having a good night. Let her be. We're yeah. podcasting. It's Thursday night. Let her do her thing. Yeah, let her do her thing. <laughs> I heard that too, and I was like, I was like it, "Am I hearing voices? Is there a block party happening tonight?" No, if chalk it up to twenty twenty, I guess as well. Yeah, no, but um, twenty twenty and the snow that was awesome though. That, I mean, it was kind of cool. I, I felt like it helped with the smoke and the fires. Hopefully, oh yeah. I had to go down in the crawl space and dig out coats to survive one night, <laughs> one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, this thing fits. It's okay. I had new windshield wipers in the back of my car. Yeah. For like the last two months, and all of a sudden I was out there in the snow, like, I gotta change these now. <laughs> and then I broke one, so I still have one old one and I have one new one. And the, oh, unfortunately, no. the new one is on the passenger side. So, of course, if you ride in my car passenger, you'll be able to see really clear, and I'll be over there trying to squint through the, squ- <laughs> the, the squishes there. Yeah, totally. It makes sense, man. 2020. 2020. Yeah, the the snow. Yeah, summertime snow. That's the earliest I've ever seen it. That's what they were saying on the news or something, too. That's pretty Maybe early. there's earlier ones, but they said that's the biggest temperature swing for sure. Yeah. Totally. So that's crazy. Okay, we were coming back from BV. By the way, BV, I've been there three times in 2020. Which is crazy. It is crazy. Two it's before the year pre-COVID. of Buena Vista for you, yeah. Yeah. Or Buena Vista, if Buena, you're old. Buena, Buena Vista. Yeah. Hey, by the way, I had the applesauce donuts because it was the first Saturday of the month. They're good, aren't they? Oh, man. What is the donut shop called? Uh, Lowback Bakery. Lowback Bakery. Oh man, those applesauce donuts. Applesauce donuts. And old you know fashioned. What they had? Oh salad. yeah. And you know what else they had? They had um the Texas sausage in a roll thing. Um, kolaches. They had kolaches. Oh. In them. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. The wife unit was super happy to That's see cool. kolaches and BB. 
but BV coming back on <laughs> Monday. I told on, you, la- on Labor Day. Yeah. On Labor Day was the worst decision I've made in 2020. Yeah, you should have just drove through the night or something or like. I know. Or made everybody sleep in the day. car or stayed an extra day and drove home like Monday night into Tuesday or whatever. Right. Yeah. Because it took us six and a half hours. Whoa. And we had a we got through Fair Play and went to Colorado Springs afterwards. Wow. But we got on I-25. This is I-25 is bad, though? Because I figured no, it would be bad through that Larkspur. It was, no one was on I-25 <laughs> on Labor Day. They're, they're all coming from the They're mountains. all I-70 or 285 because they're, they're all going all, the mountains. Yeah. all yeah. coming from there. That's the way it always is. Yeah. But I-25 was so empty and wide open. That's I was funny. like, it's so Normally, weird. that's, the, yeah, that's it, the poop show. It felt like a Sunday morning I-25. Job. That's crazy. I know. On a holiday. But the mountains were nuts. I heard 60% of Americans... Went on a road trip this Labor Day. I can imagine it's got to be higher this year than ever because sixty percent of people Americans. aren't like traveling, traveling. So yeah, we're like, forget this, we're out. We're gonna just road trip. This yeah. is our last sort of holiday before the summer's over. Yeah, yeah, sixty percent. Wow. Okay, you have on our list tonight. We got to review a few things. We're we're a little behind our reviews. Have we talked about the Roomba? We have not talked about the Roomba. So someone gave me a Roomba, which is a great gift. Great gift. Thank. I appreciate it. Shout out to Kenny and Emily. Oh, that, they gave you that. Yeah, they gave me a Roomba. Yeah, oh. I had to buy a new battery for it, but you know, oh, for twenty bucks, I yeah, got a Roomba. You got a Roomba, but I I have a love hate relationship with Roomba. Oh, I bet Explain. because he does a great job cleaning the house. Yeah, but he requires a lot of maintenance. Really? Like, well, first off, he has a little tiny thing in the back where all the crud goes. Right. And I have to empty it like oh every other day. Every other day, That's I should probably bad. do it every day, but I, every other day is okay. It's then he constantly honest, sucks you have up four kids up. There, he sucks right? up toys and other things. So I got to figure that out. Yeah. And gets wound up with stuff, and then the hair gets all tangled. And I have yeah. to cut the brush. I have to cut. They have like a brush cutting tool. You have to pull out and clean off the brushes. And right. And then today his little sw- swirly brush was falling off. So I'm like. I appreciate because I don't have to vacuum the house right. as often. I still yeah. do occasionally, but I don't have to do it like weekly because he's doing it every day. But at the same time, it's like, man, man. That... Work. So I'm waiting for the robot that's like self-servicing. Wow. Like, And how spoiled am I that I have a robot vacuum and now I'm waiting for the robot vacuum that just In does 2020, you've got a robot vacuum. Let's just, the Jetsons would be pretty impressed. I'm waiting for my flying car. Oh, yeah. But it's coming. I'll take my robot vacuum for now. Do, do you think the flying car will exist before our kids graduate high school? That's no. Like, no. I think flying cars are not as practical as we think they would be. So you think automated self-driving cars where we don't even have a steering wheel will yeah, happen I think our kids I, Remember graduate. I, Robot with Will Smith? Yes. All the cars were autonomous? Yeah. That's what we're looking at. We were looking at that. Where they could, like, they could literally be centimeters apart yeah and they could be going 100 miles an hour on on you know what what is currently a two-lane road right because there's no error you know there's no margin of error with them hey if i was six hours on bv and an automated car that's an epic nap and some good movie watching. i was gonna say you, I could, wouldn't yeah, mind. you could recline you could like I wouldn't mind yeah, you could have all. a book yeah totally it's like being a kid again I've, someone I've, driving you i've never tried one of the, i want to try a tesla we need to find somebody who has a tesla to let us try it okay and just drive it down the highway and see. Yeah, what I just want to see. Like. I've never tried one. I've heard they're awesome. I how to what did it feels like to be behind the wheel but not in control? Yeah, that's gotta be interesting. But you still have to hold the wheel because I think that's like a safety thing for now. Yeah. But eventually that'll probably go away. That will go away. But just you even literally ever, just sit there. Yeah. And it would get you there. Oh yeah. Have that's you seen the videos of the guys like sleeping while it's going down the highway? No. Yeah, look it up sometime. <laughs> I can't it's wait. ridiculous. Like some dude's literally just snoozing. And they're on the highway, and it's kind of stop and go, yeah, like right. L.A. kind of traffic, and it's like <laughs> they keep passing him, and he's just like, ow. <laughs> the car's just, and the car's like stopping, yeah. and then it goes when it goes. It's very appropriately driving, but it's like, dude. Yeah. That's the reality we're going to live oh, in yeah. soon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you got the Roomba. So would out of five minivans, what would you give the Roomba right now? A four. That's impressive. I'm taking away one, one minivan for the the maintenance yeah you so you become the main the vacuum maintenance man yeah i'm a robot repair man now <laughs> but but i don't have to vacuum as uh, often as often because i only have one roomba and i have three floors oh yeah and he doesn't do stairs so. yeah totally unless i get two more roombas i've heard him go on he's pretty loud it is a little annoying yeah but do you get used to that noise 
so originally, so here's a funny story. Originally, I had it set to go off like the middle of the night. Right. Well, the first time you hear that in the middle of the night, you're like, okay, <laughs> we're getting burglarized. It's go time. It's go time. So we're like, okay, let's change that. Yeah. Then you turn it on in the middle of the day and you think, oh, it's fine. But then the kids are like chasing it around and it's not accomplishing anything because they're, they're bumping into it, it or yeah. sitting on it or whatever. So you're like, okay, I got to figure out. So you set it to when they're going to bed. Mm-hmm. But then you realize that's like wife and you Netflix. Netflix time. And you're like, I can't hear the movie. So there's like not a good, there's like no good time. Yeah. I got to figure out the hour. Like we're not home. I need like, you know how my Nest thermostat knows when I'm home or not? Right. I need that for the Roomba. Like, oh, they're gone. Right. Time to vacuum, you know, totally. like, and then it, and then it's done for the day. Hey, by the way, you might want to check your EQ. You're running in hot. Am I? On, on, on my headphones, at least. Yeah. To, sorry, technical. We, this is our first technical issue well, we've ever had. Well, also, the, the, the twins like to play with the board, so yeah, they chase them off. <laughs> sometimes ah. you chase them off. Sometimes you just sometimes let it be. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. It is what it is. I know. The professional quality of the podcast has, like, now the podcasting table has other toys and books on it like and a fan slowly it's moving and a fan pointed yeah. at my treadmill closer and closer to our space yeah we've we're losing the basement or so slowly. <laughs> Just slowly i don't know what we're gonna do when i finish the basement i don't, I don't, know don't think i don't think i'm gonna have a podcast corner i i got a place i got an option maybe. we might have to just pull it out and set it up on the kitchen table yeah, on the nights we're gonna do it but then your wife can't do red box and alexa night true you know those <laughs> things are gonna have to change we gotta right? figure it out Okay, so you recommended this show, and let's be honest, it's not the cleanish. In the no, sense it's of not a family language. friendly show. Not language. A little bit inappropriate, a little yeah. raunchy at times. It's and it's on Apple Plus, so that's kind of hit or miss. Yeah. But if you've bought an, if you've purchased a new iOS device in the last year, they've been giving you a free year with that. Yeah. Which I found that most people would probably end up purchasing an iOS device about a year every year or two. Yeah. So so, uh, Ted Lasso. So okay, do you did you ever uh, did you ever see this before it was an Apple Plus series? No. So NBC Sports made this character okay. to promo them playing the Premier Soccer League or okay. football, yeah, uh, British football league in the U.S. So the whole joke was he's like a Southern football coach mm-hmm. that gets hired to go coach a soccer team in the United Kingdom, right? A premier team, a premier team. So the highest, you know. He has no clue what he's doing. No soccer. clue he's doing. No no idea about the game. So it's it's all jokes about that. Real funny series, like f- four or five little you know minute, two minute long promo videos to to tease soccer on NBC. Right. So apparently years now that was years and years ago. So now all of a sudden Apple Plus picks it up and uh, it, makes a whole series out of it, and it's pretty funny. Oh, I I wish it was cleaner. It's so funny. It could be like. It could be in the office category oh, type sure. of show if yeah. it was a little cleaner. Yeah. I feel like they're using their freedom of streaming right. versus broadcast to cool. their full extent, and they're kind of living it up. Yeah. But I agree. It's yeah. a hilarious show. Hilarious. And it, it should be on NBC. You're right. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It could be know. a really good network show. Network show. Yeah, that's with, what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, with some editing. Yeah. Some cleaning But it's up. a pretty funny show. And the best part of it is he... Was a football coach at Wichita? Yeah, they say State. Wichita State, so the he won the national championship. But he was supposed to be a football coach, and I don't think they've ever won anything football. But no. that was the whole yeah. like joke too. But yeah, and then he played. He gets European hired football. to go to play football and or coach football. It's it's a funny show. Yeah. Okay, we also have to review the Birdhouse. Is it we, Eat at Birdhouse? Maybe it's Eat Let's at Birdhouse. Let's ask the people. Is it Eat at Birdhouse? Because they're I think their Instagram is Eat at Birdhouse. Great. Eat at Birdhouse. Eat at Birdhouse. Which is. In the running for the best restaurant in 2020. Whoa. And Erie. Whoa, dude. And now you're talking about 24 Karat, man. Whoa. You're, wow. I know. Whoa. It's just, just, it's so surprising. That's what I'm thinking right now. So if you guys don't know about Eat at Birdhouse or Birdhouse or whatever, whatever it's called. Birdhouse. It is a new restaurant, Old Town. It's right in between basically Miner's Tavern. There's some other little businesses there. Yeah. And then the Rose Cafe. Right. They built a really cool spot. They turned some old building into a real cool spot. Roof hangout. Roof hangout. That real nice seen. patio. Yep. Nice bar area, everything. And it's a real interesting mix of food. So it's tacos and like taco kind of stuff, what you expect. Yeah. Chips and queso, chips and guac. Which are fantastic. Which are great. And then they do tiki drinks. Yep. Which is like, okay, that kind of goes with you know tacos, I which guess. Which are yummy. 
which are good. Yeah. And then they do ramen, they which do. is also really good. And like fried chicken. So it's yeah. like a real, like, feels like somebody who just really loves to make food was like, let's make a restaurant and let's just make good food. And we don't make care. The food I want to eat all We the don't time. care it's, well, if it's mixing cultures yeah. or whatever. Like, let's just make good food. Yeah. It's, it's the total American style. We'll take whatever. Board. Yeah. Like, we just want We like eat. tacos. We like ramen and we like chicken. So, so we're going to eat it. Yeah. And we're going to drink uh, little fruity cocktails with it. Yeah. And it's a fantastic restaurant. It's really good. I mean, we haven't, I haven't been there and thought, oh man, I wish I hadn't ordered that yet. Yeah, I have yet to try something that I'm disappointed with. Yeah. I've definitely found my favorites. Oh, I definitely. For sure. But red hot, Nashville, Nashville hot, hot chicken, chicken tacos. Chicken tacos. Oh my good. The El Pastor tacos. El Pastor is the. The ramen's the pretty. The, I had some of your ramen. That was delightful. Yeah. Yeah. And then guac is. I like the guac more than the queso. Yeah. But they're both fantastic. Both really good. I know. It's just like one of those cool new restaurants. I'm like, it this is. thing is an eerie. It's so cool. I know. It's kind of weird how like the little tiny, little tiny eerie. Yeah, but up. now we have these great eateries that we can pick every night. Old Mine, The Birdhouse, and then 24 Carat. Yeah, and I think Miner's Tavern's even set their game up too. Oh, yeah. The Buffalo Burger at Miner's Tavern still is the yeah. best burger we couple in town. Good, we have a couple great coffee shops. We have several good coffee shops. Yeah. We have some great chains. We're we're set now. We have Lazy Dog. We have uh, yeah. We have so many good spots. It's true. It's super true. Yeah, you guys should move to Erie. I know. If you're not in Erie, you're missing out. <laughs> yeah. Speaking uh, of missing out, missing out, Mr. Franklin, yeah. Jason, Jason, who was a guest on the show once, and he's a great listener of the podcast. His daughter, probably, probably number one fan. He might be in the running. He might be the number one fan in Erie because his f- daughters like know our intro apparently. Oh yeah, and they know every episode. They know that I'm like that's right, and, and I, yeah, it's not only his daughters. His whole family listens. Yeah, to the death it's like of a f- they, it's like the 1930s. They gather around the podcast <laughs> at night yeah, yeah. to hear our soothing voices. Give them the news after supper yeah. is finished, and after the let them know that everything's gonna be okay in 2020. Yeah, they gather around. Yeah, the jukebox. They gather around the <laughs> the iPhone. <laughs> listen to Dad's listen to Dad's But congratulations to him today, September 10th. He is officially a dad to a son. Whoa, dude! So they dude had club. They, hey, they had a COVID baby. Let's be honest. COVID baby. Maybe pre-COVID baby. I was say a little pre. We're not in COVID for nine months yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, they had a little boy. Congratulations out to them. Yeah. Their girls, I bet, are super excited for that. Be big sisters. Yeah. Big sisters. Yeah. But um, anyways, he texted us last week. Yeah. He, he No, he didn't text us. No. He straight up threw down. He tried to FaceTime. He me. tried to throw down on the minivan. He did. Because he tried to fight. They are. He tried to start a fight with this fourth one on the way. I was like, dude, you're gonna buy another. He's got to buy a minivan. He's got to buy a minivan. Because two years ago, he sold maybe less than two years ago. He sold his minivan and bought like a Honda Pilot or whatever. A Honda Pilot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but he sent us a video saying the Honda Pilot could fit. Did you see how tight those car seats oh looked in there? God. It looked miserable. Redonkulous, bro. You know, if his kids are gonna like stay three years old, he can fit sardines in there all day. Yeah. But. You gotta get a minivan, Jason. I'm letting you know right now, dog. Okay, you question. can you can try to start a fight, try to pick a fight with the minivan gang. Yeah, man. But you're gonna lose. pilot gang, you ain't going anywhere. No, especially with four kids. You ain't got no baby. cargo space. No, you ain't got no room for car seats. Are you gonna rent a U-Haul every time you go? Yeah, on what a are you gonna trip? do, Jason? <laughs> Where are you at, Jason? My question to you, RJ. Yeah. This is a serious question. Minivan gang. How many door dings is he going to have to give people of Erie before he buys a minivan? Oh, where, yeah, where are your slider <laughs> doors at, Jason? You're just going to be letting those kids swing doors open like crazy monkeys? Yeah, they're they're going to be crazy monkeys. Yeah, what happens when they hit somebody's BMW, Jason? And granted, you know, if I was going on a road trip or a vacation, I would get a Honda Pilot for the weekend because yeah. you can open up regular doors to their full potential a few times before you get annoyed. Yeah. But putting that Carson in and having it open up no that whole idea. door. No. No way. No way. Jason thinks he's <laughs> Jason thinks he's smooth. He We've ain't. never given so much haterade to a person. I know. We're, we usually try to keep it positive. Yeah. But when you throw down yeah, like Jason did down. to us. He did. Tried to call out the minivan gang. Oh, man. And, and speaking of minivan gang, we have another great listener, the paid-in piano. 
Yeah. She, AKA GP Lou. She went to the dealership. Well, I think their van finally. <laughs> eight, <laughs> eight, <laughs> yeah, I think their 04 and Honda. Kinda. And Gary has been on the podcast. Oh, yeah, Gary was on the podcast. He's sports dad. He's probably the most faithful driver of a minivan in the mileage category. Oh, yeah. Well, I wonder how many miles their van did have. Did they say? Oh, I bet it's 200, 300. It's got to be almost 300. Yeah. Wow. But they finally, after 15 years, got a new minivan. Congratulations. Or a to new them. used minivan. You know what? Minivan gang, minivan strong. A Honda a hashtag. That's the cream that's like of the, the cream. cream. Yeah, that's, the, that's luxury. That's Collier's Hill material. Oh, yeah. That's Collier's Hill. That's material. old money right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally old money. Right? That's old country money. club. <laughs> that's country club. They're going to tie sweaters around their necks yeah. now because they're driving a Honda This is Pilot. speaking for the guy. If you see me, in, I have a giant rust spot on the door. It's about to make a hole into the cab. <laughs> <laughs> and your slider doors kind of sort of work. Yeah, yeah. My kids would be like, I don't have an automatic can... back opening. So listen, that's that right there, that's country club. That's country club. Yeah, they're yeah. they're gonna go have little petite sandwiches yeah, totally. in their Honda pilot. Man, but she 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 finally good for them. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. That's the way you do it, Jason. <laughs> that's true. Go with the Honda. Honestly. Yeah. 2014, right? Is I the think one that's what they say. Yeah, it was great. Looked in good shape. Yeah, yeah it looked great. Great color. Yeah, uh, you know. But if you're okay, if you're gonna redo it, okay, and to say, you're you're the only one picking out the minivan. Oh okay? man, it's what color pressure. would you pick? If you like, so here's my problem. So I have any color. I have a white minivan currently. Yes, as we all know. Yes, from the famous video. Oh man, that's a good video. You should replay that video. We should, we should repost yeah. it. Repost. Uh. And tag Jason. You have a gray van. Yes. I have a dark green Jeep Mm -hmm. and then have like a gray car. I think I would go gray because here's why. You go too dark, every little dust spot shows instantly. That's that's what my grandpa said. My dark Jeep is like always looks dirty because it's just the like slightest little mist is like, whoop, there's dirt. Yeah. And my white van always looks dirty because any amount of like road grime or mud or whatever is like, whoop, there it is. And we got some But gray kind of just hides it a little bit. Yeah, great. Definitely. Jeep it. makes a cool gray. It's like a matte gray almost. Yeah. I don't know if it would look good on a minivan because it looks really good on a Jeep, but I could, I'm could. i like, that one looks good because then it, it could get a little dirty and you couldn't quite tell if it's dirty or dusty yeah. if it's just matte colored. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I would go dark gray. Maybe. I go dark gray. Like medium Cause dark. Because you don't want to go too dark because, like I said, then it yeah. shows all the dust. You, you don't want a black minivan either because then it gets hot. Yeah, or a red minivan. You get- You're wild. That's yeah. just, no, that's just inappropriate. Yeah, the cops are going to definitely pull that one. Yeah, they're like, that guy's crazy. Yeah, for red. Yeah. Cherry red. <laughs> yeah, it's like a bowl. Yeah, you don't want to show red to a bowl. Yeah, totally. But- you know, tinted windows is a must too. Oh yeah, you have tinted windows. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. You don't want to be driving around a fishbowl. No, <laughs> that's what it's like. Yeah. My mo- my other little car does not have tinted windows, and right. seriously, like you realize, like everyone can see everything in this car right now. <laughs> they can see my head in three hundred sixty degrees. <laughs> they can see your dad. I did see hair. a van the other day that did not have tinted windows, and it did. It was like, ugh. You were like, what? That's all too much. I don't want to see that much of your life. Yeah, totally. You need to put your children behind some tinted windows so I don't have to see their snotty noses Yeah, and their juice boxes, all right? Yeah, totally. Tinted windows. I want to hide that from Get me. that limo tint. Oh, limo tint. Like, where you can't even see the sun in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Like, why is the van so but dark? Because we got limo tint. But the kids would always be napping. It's yeah, always a good dark. thing. Yeah, was, right, mama. That sounds like a win-win to me. Yeah, totally. Until bedtime. Keep the interior nice Until and cool. Can't, kids would be sleeping. Okay, would you go leather? In a minivan? I go pleather. Oh, yeah. Because totally. I would not do cloth. Yeah. Because I have pleather now. I mean, and like, I have I cloth. They, they claim it's leather, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I believe Kia. No. <laughs> Definitely not real leather. <laughs> but I don't know if I go cloth, because yeah. I've seen some cloth interiors where we're like, Ugh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? But leather would be really nice. Fresh the best leather. would be Fresh the leather. new Bronco. Oh, By the yeah. way, we haven't really talked about it, but we're not really a car podcast. Yeah, right now we are for the last five minutes. Well, you're on a roll. So the new Bronco, their seats are neoprene, so like wetsuit material. How is that? Supposed I don't know how it would be very comfortable, That's but like, I could you can't breathe. I don't know, like, but then it's totally waterproof. But are like you how like genius sweaty is back? that? Are you sweaty I don't back? Know. Guy? That's what I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe neoprene seats with cooled, you know, oh, like the little chill chill van. Oh man, that'd be legit. Waterproof, you can just yeah, totally. throw coffee around or whatever you need to do. That's true. Okay, hey, we want to hear from you. What do you think about the minivan life? Minivan gang. The minivan We want to see your minivans. Oh, Let's we rep do. our minivans. We do want to see your minivans. Tag your 
post up an Insta story yeah. of your minivan. Wash Rep or not the minivan. Wash. We don't care. Inside or we, outside. We, we don't judge. No, no, no. We don't judge minivans. We all have the cup holder. We judge pilots. We judge pilots. We judge Jason. Pretentious pilots. Yeah. <laughs> Pretentious. But listen, minivan gang strong, okay? But I don't want to offend them because they're great listeners. We love them. Yeah, we love them all. But we just... Congratulations. Well, you can love people and, and question their life choices, though. <laughs> totally. But the girls, the girls might be styling in a pilot more than a minivan. Oh, that's true. She, he's thinking of, like, the boys in the future. Oh, he yeah. wants to, you know... He wants to marry them all <laughs> someday, right? Yeah. They can't be rolling up in a minivan. They can't be rolling all right, I feel Although you. Jiffy I feel you, Jason, but still. Painty Piano rolls in the minivan. Dude, they roll hard in the minivan. They, they they make the minivan lifestyle look fun. Yeah. <laughs> Which is hard to do. Which is hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> but let's okay, see. Your, uh, post an Insta story. Yeah, tag us at Dad Zaviri. You know where we're at. Hey, we're at Dad Zaviri on Instagram. You know we love our Dad Zaviri friends. Yeah. And, and man, we're th- so thankful for you. Email us, dadzaviri at gmail.com. Hit us up on Instagram. Instagram, at dadzaviri. You know where to find us on YouTube, all our old episodes. Hey, and if you ever see us in town and want to buy us drinks or dinner, let us know. Yeah, we're available. We're free. We're free. Call us. 